Hey everybody, Abby here. I am here to do the tutorial for this look. Um, this is using some of the products from Face Candy Couture. Um, about three or four colors, but it's just a very pretty like sunset eye. And I just gave like a glowing look with the cheeks and again kept my lips neutral because we have a lot of color going on in the eye look. So if you guys want to know how I achieve this look, keep on watching. Okay guys, we're going to start off by putting down a base of Too Faced Shadow Insurance all over the lid, up to the brow bone. Okay, and then over that, we are going to put Painterly Paint Pot. I love how this evens out my lids, but I'm keeping it matte, so I'm not using a color base, because I think there's enough color going on here and enough shimmer that I don't need to add anything else. So, we are going to be using pigments from Face Candy Couture, as I mentioned in the intro, and we are also going to use a couple other ones just to blend out nicely. But for we are going to be using almost all the pigments wet, um, and for that I'm using Max Fix Plus. You can use a mixing medium or water, and I am using um, just a flat, very thin, like eyeshadow shader brush because I don't want to. Um, I like to use brushes that I don't really love like care getting wet and you know all the pigment in it for <clears throat> wet pigment so first color that I'm going to be using is 130 baby cakes and this is just a golden yellow um, and I'm going to mix it a little bit with Myra's cosmetics yellow cake and it's just a light yellow almost satin finish pigment and I mix it up in the lid. So all of these will be in the lid. So what I want to do is just spray my brush with Fix Plus. Dab off any excess on the back of your hand because um, you don't want it like sopping wet. But So I'm going to pick up this pigment. And I'm going to place it on the inner third. Up to the crease. Okay, and then the next color that we are going to be using is another Face Candy Couture color. And this is just a really pretty pink. And this is Sweet Innocence, and this is 134. But it also has a sheen of like a yellow or green. So it definitely is a good blender between the um, this golden and then the final color that we're going to be using. So I'm just going to put this in the inner third. And I'm also going to pat this on top of that golden color so it acts as, you know, blending, easy blending. So if your brush needs a little more Fix Plus, go ahead and spray it. Just pick up that pigment and place it in the middle. And this color also reflects a lot of light so I like putting it in the inner to draw co like draw light to my eye and then I'm just gonna go back with a little of the first color just to blend the two seamlessly and then the third color that I'm going to be using is pink honey dip this is a like light light orange with a pink sheen to it and I'm gonna be using that on the outer third I just wiped off my brush clean on a clean towel a little bit and sprayed it with a little more Fix Plus. And again, I have that pigment in the jar lid. And I am just going to place that on the outer third. Again, kind of stamping it over that Sweet Innocence just to get it blended real nicely. This one I'm kind of going to sweep just a little bit of the color into the crease. So I'm just going to take a little bit up there. Okay. 
And now that we have that done, I'm just going to go back a little bit and blend and wiggle if I need it. Then the next color that I'm going to be using, and I'm going to be using my e.l.f. $1 shadow brush. I'm going to be using NYX Orange Zest, which is a very bright orange with almost like golden shimmers. And I'm going to be using this dry. And I'm going to sweep this. Kind of pack it into the crease. And up. Okay, and then the f next color that we're going to be using just to give it a really pretty look is this is Cinnamon from Face Candy Couture number 105. And again, I'm going to use this dry. And I'm going to take my Coastal Suns Deluxe Synthetic Crease Brush and just kind of pat just a little bit on that brush. We don't need a whole lot, but this will deepen the crease and just give a little more definition. And it's just a nice orangey gold color. It's so beautiful. These are such rich pigmented colors. And I just love this look because it just reminds me of such like a sunset look. And then with a pencil brush, I'm just using my Walmart pencil brush. And I'm going to take finally a deep brown. And this is Pinecone number 107. You can use and substitute any colors that you want. You don't necessarily have to use pigment. You could just use your favorite eyeshadows in these tones, but I just love all of these together. They just work in such harmony. It's great. So I'm just going to get a little bit on this brush dry. And I'm just going to give a little definition to the crease and a little deepness. Just kind of make a little V motion in the outer portion. Just so we can frame the eye. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. blending brush and just to blend that out just a little bit so we don't have like a harsh crease line. We're not going for like a good crease, so. Okay, now I am going to highlight, or actually, sorry, I'm not going to highlight yet. Um, I'm taking my 28 neutral palette from Coastal Scents and I'm going to put like a neutral brown matte to help the color blend and not have such a harsh line and I'm going to be using this color right here and I'm just going to put it on my blending brush and soften that line right there Gives a nice great effect. And I'm also going to be highlighting with this palette. I'm going to be taking this beige shade right here. Wait, where's my finger? Matte beige. And I'm going to be taking my Studio Tool Smudge Brush. And just highlight my brow bone. We definitely have a nice flow of color and I'm going to also highlight my tear duct too. Don't want anything crazy. Okay, so now I am going to use the e.l.f. Studio Line um, Cream Eyeliner on the top lash line and I will be right back. Okay, before, bleh, before I curled my lashes, I just wanted to show you what I did. Um, black liner and then I put these pink sweet innocence over the liner because it gives it a really cool effect and then I lined my waterline with max feline coal and set that with a matte black from my wet and wild greed palette and then put sweet innocence under on the lash line and a little bit of the golden yellow in the inner corner lash line and I'm going to curl my lashes, and I will be back with the cheeks. Hey guys, um, so now onto the cheeks. Sorry, get in frame. 
Um, I already contoured and highlighted. Um, I contoured with L or NYC Sunny Bronzer and I highlighted with the Physician's Formula Light Bronze Pearl. So now onto the cheeks. I am also using a Physician's Formula blusher and this is Blushing Glow. Just a nice warm peachy. I'm going to get a little bit on my angled blush brush. Just add it onto my cheekbones and take it back into my hairline. It just gives a nice glow to my skin and it also matches the you know the shades we were going for in the eye look so and I'm going to be using lipstick wise I'm going to be using Demure from Revlon's Fire and Ice collection just a really pretty nude shade It definitely has more um, orangey or rose tones. It's definitely not just like a plain nude. So that completes this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the below mark. And I will talk to everyone very, very soon. Bye, guys.